Now, the economic community of West African state, ECOWAS, and the network of national anti-corruption institution, NASIWA, have pledged to partner to end corruption and bad leadership in the sub-region. This proposal was canvassed in Abuja at the 5th Annual General Assembly meeting where a new executive committee was expected to emerge. Now, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the Independent Corruption Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, which are joint hosts to show of Nigeria's commitment to the success of the regional body in the war against corruption and related offenses. I did indicate that West African states are fragile. That, that fragility is made worse by several other factors. Political instability in member countries, the insecurity across the sub-region, uh, poor governance structures, weak rule of law, and then of course corruption. Now as you know that corruption is a push factor for all of these elements within the sub-region, so which makes it much more imperative for us to work together, uh, especially given the high mobility of illicit financial flows, uh, light arms, uh, drug trafficking, human trafficking, all of the factors that lead to weak states that we need to work together. No single agency, either in country or out of country, can work on this alone. Um, it has to do with international cooperation. We need to cooperate with one another. Uh, it's a borderless uh, crime that uh, we are looking at almost on daily basis, issues of money laundering across the shores of this country. And that is why Nasiwa was formed in the first instance, and that is why we are here for the fifth uh, annual general meeting to be able to deliberate and uh, cooperate uh, with one another, to share intelligence, to share information. Uh, and that is the essence of, uh, of the meeting today, and that is uh, what we hope to achieve. All around the world is, uh, is a global trend that uh, uh, you know, uh, nations or anti-corruption agencies must cooperate with one another. Uh, from ONCAC to ECOWAS protocol to African Union Convention on, uh, uh, you know, corruption, all these, you know, documents have, uh, you know, emphasized the need for international cooperation, and that is why we are here also today. The president of Nasiwa commended the EFCC and the ICPC for its doggedness in the fight against graft in Nigeria. We are very grateful that we are here today to continue the work that we are asked to do, to deliberate on issues, to look into the challenges, to come out, go down deep down and come out with solutions that can continue to help the transparency framework and space in West Africa. Nigeria was uh, also one of the driving forces for many, many years until uh, we achieved success uh, about three or four years ago. Uh, in pushing through at the United Nations General Assembly uh, the promotion of international cooperation to combat illicit financial flows and strengthen good practices on asset returns for the sustainable development. I must particularly commend His Excellency General Mohamed, Mohamedou Bouaudi, retired GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, as well as his other peers and brothers, head of states and government, for their leadership, dependable support, and constructive guidance to the ECOWAS Commission, which has enabled the ECOWAS Commission to perform its mission, and in particular, advancing the promotion of democracy and good governance in the region. Allow me to also use this opportunity to commend the steps taken by various member states, government, towards making the culture of transparency, accountability, and integrity entrenched in the governance process in the region. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.